Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm George and today we're going to be taking a look at something I bought from China. A new digital multimeter. Not that I actually need any more. I would bought this before the auction lot came up. So what I thought I'd do is I would, after doing the last few fixing videos, let, let's have a look at a new product and hopefully this will be pretty good. So it comes in a box, it's a Mestec DM91 multimeter with VFC mode and it says category 3 600 volts on the side and it comes in a standard box, bubble wrap, um, no paper, so let's put that there for recycling, ah oh, the paper's in the bubble wrap. Well, okay, you get a plastic Phillips screwdriver with it. Fair enough. Comes, by the looks of it, inside a fairly sort of rubberized shell. And that's why you need the screwdriver. Let me just check to see if there's a battery in it. And if not, let's put one in it. There isn't, and it needs two double A's. So I better try and find two double A's. Oh, while you're here, and he's off getting that battery, I'm just going to say, why not click the like button? Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the bell, get all the notifications. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm sure he'll have fun answering every single one of them. I said triple A's, didn't I? So we've opened up the back and we find that the screw's not captive and it needs some AAA batteries, of which I found a pack. Okay, so, yep, here we are. We've got a meter and it does come up. And the first thing I'm going to test is the non-contact voltage test. Now that's a... A mode where you can get a live lead. Let's find a live lead. And you can hold it near the non contact sensor at the front here. And it's showing an H, which I guess to be high voltage. Current voltage in here is 230.7 on that piece of cable. I'm going to leave that on the bench because we can use this fluke, take those probes off, to measure that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll shove this in there and shove that in there. And the fluke is actually saying it's 228.3, 228.2. So yes, there's high voltage on it and that is detecting it on the cable. So we know that that part works. Now live, I don't quite know what live means. Alarm! Live wire test. Right, only connect the red probe to the V input socket. Okay, so let's take out that one. In live mode, turn the rotary switch to live, screen display displays dots, plug the probe tip into the power socket, live jack, or near the live wire. Alright, okay. That's interesting. It's detecting which of the two of these is actually the hot side on the mains. Now that's quite an interesting test. What we can do to confirm that, let's just... Uh, Just put a mark or something on there. So 
So the side with the little cut out notch on it, we know is live. Let us go to the plug itself and bring it here. And we can then test from the live pin here on the thing. So let's put that in. Let's switch it to continuity test and go between the live pin there and it detects that very very well. Now that is a nice feature the fact that you need one wire and you can pick up which side is the hot side of an AC line. That that is actually a very useful feature, uh, easy way to say polarity. If you're working on AC circuits at all, you can just tap that onto one side. I, I actually like that feature, that is, is very nice. Let's start off with a battery. Now I'm deliberately going to put these the wrong way round. There we go, put it on the battery. 8.79 volts negative, which means it knows that I've got it the wrong way round. Let's turn that round. Okay, 8.793. Just to confirm that, I'm going to uh, put the fluke in. 8.77. So this is actually reading slightly higher. That's fair enough. Let's do another DC test. Now at its lowest point, 1.749, 1.75 volts at the power supply. Let's just uh, touch those to there. 1.755, so it's actually pretty accurate there on that, on that DC power supply. Let's just take the power supply up. The front panel of the power supply is reading 20 volts. 20.34, so it's it's pretty accurate for an analog meter. Let's just put this on the same connectors, and it says 20.4 was that? 20.41, so it is running slightly higher than the flute, 20.4, but 0 0.04, 0 0.05 of a volt. That's that's nothing really, so I'm quite impressed with that. Ah, what else can we test with this um, frequency? So yes, let's turn that power supply off. Let's plug this AC line lead in again. Right, so the AC line lead is live again. Press the cell button. Ah, so you have to switch it manually to AC. And there we go, that's reading 233 volts AC. Now, if I take those probes out of there and shove these probes in, and press Hertz, we are actually showing the 50 Hertz that the UK mains is. So, it is accurate. It's a pain in the ass when it doesn't tell you obviously that you've got to select between AC and DC manually. At least with meters like the Fluke, it's either AC or DC directly. But okay, I can live with that. Um, resistance capacitance, that's your standard test. I will find a resistor very, very quickly somewhere. There we go. Guess where they came from, that signal tester, tracer. So, that resistor, which is meant to be a 470, is reading 545. Okay, let's see what the fluke makes of it. 544. So, yeah, an ohm out. What's an ohm, give or take? Capacitance, let's see whether I need to change it. So, yes, we do. Let's select nanofarads, okay. 216 nanofarads. And it should be a 
zero zero five, so fifty nanofarads. Obviously, the trouble with holding it is you're going to read the capacitance of yourself. And now it's reading two hundred and twenty-three nanofarads. So again, you know, it is, it is what it is. It's got a torch on it. <laughs> it's a meter with a torch on it. It's got a hold function and it's got a backlight you can turn on and off. So in the dark, if you're working in a cupboard or under a table, you can turn the backlight on and off. Cheap multimeter. It comes with the probes, it comes with the crocodile clip ends, comes with a screwdriver, doesn't come with batteries. User manual, what else can I say? The, the actual digits themselves are nice and big, very readable from a distance. You know, they're quite a bit bigger than the flukes. I would say almost double the size of the flukes actual screen. So, yeah, value for money. Yeah, if, if you haven't got a multimeter, it's, it's an ideal little meter. Quite impressed. So there you are. Mestec DM91A. Thanks very much for watching.